Hey guys, Brady here, and I just saw a haunted house too. So basically, Malcolm is being haunted again um, by a demon, and uh, so now he has a new family after his wife Keisha got possessed, and so now he's with a white family, and he's experiencing experiencing all these weird things, and his family doesn't really believe him. He his son had is friends like with this uh, imaginary thing named Tony. His daughter has like this cursed box, and his wife is just thinks he's crazy. His uh, new wife, I mean. And um, so yeah. So basically, the demon is moving back, and he keeps watching the cameras, and uh, he's also these little home movies of this weird creature-looking thing, which I think is supposed to be spooking Mama. And, uh, basically, this creature fails at everything he's trying to do. Like, he's trying to light, uh, he's trying to, like, kill this family that lived in the house before Malcolm did in these home movies. But he's just failing at everything. And, um, so, yeah, they spoofed, uh, a lot of stuff in this movie. They spoofed, uh, the vomiting scene from The Evil Dead, which I didn't like at all. Um... I'm talking about the scene, not the movie. I haven't seen the movie. Um, Mama, they spoofed. They spoofed the, uh, of course, paranormal activity and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so now <clears throat> Malcolm is t video chatting with his, uh, uh, not therapist, um, psychologist, I think that's what he was. And, this uh this dude is like a really crazy dude um I don't know, he's just crazy and then and then finally he gets a group of uh like a couple that um are good with exorcisms and um one of them is the psychologist also and so yeah uh I didn't laugh as much as I did during uh um as much as I did in the first one. Uh, I thought the first one was a hell of a lot better, um, but this one did have its funny moments, um, and it also had, actually some of the stuff will actually make you jump just a little bit in this movie, although some of the stuff in the first one made you jump also, but, um, I really thought this movie was decent. It was funny, but not as funny as I was wanting it to be, um, but, uh, I give a haunted house two, two stars out of five. Oh yeah, and by the way, I also ran into my sister's friend after the movie.